Hi guys, it's post bag. This one came from Osh Park. Let's have a look what's inside. Those are my new version 1.4 micro RC receiver boards. Oops. As you can see version 1.4, the functionality is still the same as in version 1.3, but the ground plane was improved and the decoupling. This big one came from eBay. Let's see what's inside. It's a 27 MHz RC forklift. So, those are today's post bag items. Now let's insert some batteries. I recommend to use analog rechargeable cells. Now let's test this thing. Of course there is no proportional control. Hmm. How does the lifter work? This thing is hard to control without proportion control. I think we have to change that. So let's have a look what's inside. Now we are in. Nice connectors. I think I will reuse them. They even went to the effort to use a polyfuse. The first thing to do is to remove the 27 MHz control board. Now I have access to the original steering motor. It will be replaced with a 9 gram servo. The diameter of the motor axle and of the servo screw is the same. So the replacement is simple. Everything is secured with a bit of two component glue. A piece of the servo housing and of the forklift frame need to be removed. The next step is to remove a piece of the top cover and to add some shims to hold the servo in place.
Now let's do a first servo test using the receiver in the LaFerrari. The receiver is now ready for hot air soldering. And this is the result after the hot air soldering. And this is the finished board with the hand soldered NRF24 L01 antenna. I have reused all the connectors from the 27 MHz original control board. This is the main switch adapter board. Here you can see how the battery and the main switch are wired up. The board is now in place and the servo is also wired up. Now it's time for the test. As you can see, all movements are proportional controlled now. Inside the roof strut you can see the old antenna wire. A 3mm LED is mounted on the roof. The new wires are also routed inside the roof strut. And here is everything glued back together. This is the first beacon function test. The beacon LED uses a 330 ohm resistor. This is a view inside with everything finished. Now let's do a final test, then we can mount the body. Of course I also have to update the receiver software. The new version 2.0 is available on my GitHub. That's all for today. Bye!